It's the first snow of the year. Holidays have passed, the new year has come, and all I can think about is how can I still buy fresh fruit in the middle of January? I took a closer look at those stickers we always peel off. This grapefruit was grown in Texas, bananas from Costa Rica, oranges from Mineola, Florida, this lime is from Mexico, and this watermelon came all the way from Guatemala. How did these perishable items travel hundreds of miles without perishing? To answer this question, we'll have to take a look at the life of Frederick McKinley Jones. Born in 1893, Jones had a pretty tough start. He became an orphan at age nine, and with no one to sponsor him, needed to leave school to start earning money at age 11. He found a job cleaning at an auto mechanic shop, and a self-taught legend was born. He became a full mechanic by age 14. By 19, he had built several cars and became one of the most well-known racers in the Great Lakes region. He later moved to Minnesota to work as a mechanic on a large farm. After serving in the Army in World War I, Jones taught himself the basics to electronics. He built his town radio station a transmitter and then created a device to sync sound with motion picture. This attracted the attention of Ultraphone Sound System's owner, Joseph Numero. After a few years of innovation in sound and theater, the two formed a partnership, which would eventually be called Thermo King. This is where Jones was challenged to create a device to allow large trucks to transport perishable products without spoiling. Mobile refrigeration was born. Jones later adapted his invention to fit trains and aquatic vehicles. Not only did this allow grocery stores to import and export products previously only available as canned goods, but his research was critical in storing blood serum for transfusions during World War II. Oh, uh, speaking of blood transfusions, the techniques behind blood banks were developed by Dr. Charles R. Drew, but we'll talk about him later, won't we? Receiving a total of 61 patents over his career, 40 of them had something to do with refrigeration. That was Frederick McKinley Jones, and this is The Balance. <laughs>